What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Finney. I'm joined by Scott Calera. We are at New York Comic Con 2016, where you just got to go to the Resident Evil slash Underworld panel. And uh, Kate Beckinsale told us a lot about Celine going into this movie. Yeah. What did she tell us about? Yeah, so Celine, Kate Beckinsale's underworld character, you know, just clad in leather and kicking butt. She said that the, this movie starts off with Celine in like a really dark, like the lowest point of her life ever. And that she said that the character is suicidal, essentially. And she actually said she doesn't think there's ever been a heroic ca character uh, portrayed in such a dark way before, which might be a bit of an overstatement, I don't know, but, but Celine is down and out because of all the bad stuff that's happened to her in the previous films, I guess, and that's going to inform her journey throughout this film, which she is once again on another mission to you know, fight werewolves and vampires and all the rest of it, and uh, she's going to kind of claw her way out of the darkness, I guess, uh, through the adventure she goes on in this. Yeah, Celine, the hero of these movies, she's had a lot to deal with in the first movie. She, you know, had a a, a lover, like, kind of uh, in Scott Speedman's character, this hybrid, but then she has to, like, betray kind of the, her father in the Victor character. In the second movie, she has to go against these, like, ancient vampires and ancient werewolves. And then in four, uh, she's fighting a giant werewolf. Giant. Uh, the plot's kind of difficult to follow about these movies, but what can we kind of expect to see from this? Because we're kind of returning to this protect the bloodlines thing. Yeah. Was there anything mentioned about that? Not really. They didn't, you know, it was a really jokey sort of panel. Like, um, anytime a serious topic came up, uh, aside from the thing she said about the suicidal tendencies, uh, Kate tended to want to make jokes and um, off color jokes as well all the time. So we didn't really get into the nitty gritty of it too much. Um, we do know that she's back and that, uh, that we do know that there's Game of Thrones actors in this film, which is a go-to for any kind of fantasy thing now. Uh, so she has allies in the vampire world uh, for sure, but we don't know, we didn't get a ton of those details. And this panel was actually split uh, between Underworld and Resident Evil, with, which are both screen gems properties. So they kind of didn't have a ton of time to get into too many nitty gritties either. Uh, but it's funny that, I mean, it makes sense that they would they would uh, team these two franchises for this panel because they're both female-led, awesome, um, monster-fighting uh, franchises that are kind of coming to an end in a way, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Resident Evil, the final chapter, is titled The Final Chapter. Yeah. We're now on the fifth, I think, total Underworld movie, or the fourth? Fifth, fifth I think, fifth. yeah. Fifth Underworld movie, and like you said, female-led action horror movies, both owned by Screen Gems. What do you think about the potential? You, someone in the studio system over there has got to say, has got to have had that thought, we should do like a crossover right. movie. What do you think? Would that be something that we would like to see? What do you think about that? Well, all right, well, so we're just speculating here. No one said this at the panel today. There's no crossover happening, but I think it's a great idea, actually. Uh, and it actually makes me interested in those franchises way more than I, than I ordinarily would be. Uh, I mean, I like the Resident Evil movies fine, you know, and, um, which not everyone <laughs> wants to hear, maybe. But, uh, and, uh, you know, Underworld has its fans. But uh, to see those two, especially to see those two actresses team up together would be pretty amazing. And, you know, the, the key word in Hollywood these days is shared universe, right? Like every studio wants properties that they can meld together into that Marvel sort of model of, of uh, having crossover characters and everything. So to do a monster shared universe with Underworld and Resident Evil, I think that would be great. And I think you're right, there's, someone must be talking about that. So who knows, we'll see what happens. A movie with Mia Jovovich and Kate Beckinsale fighting vampires, werewolves, and zombies would be awesome to yeah. me. Thank you so much, Scott. We've got way more from Comic-Con 2016. So for all of that, you're already in the right place, IGN.